We have a beautiful soup offering to go with Chinese New Year menu. We have a chicken vermicelli soup. And for a lower carbohydrate version, we also have spaghetti squash. It's going to be a beautiful soup, and I hope you'll enjoy it. So a few key notes, we're going to make the soup base with either raw or roasted chicken. The glass noodles, or vermicelli, are a type of transparent noodle. As far as the spaghetti squash, we got to bake that, so set up your oven for 375. And of course, for the recipe, head over to my website at kcknh.com. Video will go up on YouTube. And now, let's get started. So we're going to make sure the oven is on, cut the squash in half, and with a spoon, go ahead and remove the flesh and seeds just by scraping. Now we're going to cook this for about 30 minutes in the oven, dry. Yep, we're not seasoning it. Ultimately, I want this to bake up as dry as possible al dente because the soup is going to actually finish the cooking process of those threads. Into a stock pot, we're going to put our chicken, some fresh water, season it very carefully. You don't want a lot of salt and pepper in this because we still have other ingredients that we're going to add to the base. Bring it to a boil and in about 10-15 minutes, you're going to reduce it down to a slow boil, so probably low, low, medium heat. Now at this point, the squash should have come out of the oven and cooled. And I'm just pulling a few threads here to show how well they separate. This is going to make for easier removal when you use a fork. And I'm just gently pulling. We're going to harvest the meat and put it into a bowl to set it aside as we have other ingredients that we're going to prep together. Now we're choosing a few different types of vegetables. The squash itself is going to be very easy to remove. We also want to take no bean sprouts. It's up to you if you want them. I put those in each individual bowl at the end. Now your ginger and garlic, puree it and set it aside while you prep the rest of the ingredients. Uh, the soup base eventually is going to need to be taken down to a simmer. So you want to take the meat out into a bowl, separate the meat from the bones, go ahead and chuck the bones and put the meat back into your soup base. It is recommended here, keep the chicken fat that you might see in the soup. There's not gonna be a whole lot. It's just another layer of flavor. And don't forget, reduce it to a low simmer at this point. Because the next step, we're gonna add that puree of ginger and garlic, and it's gonna turn it to this milky white. Don't worry about it, it just has to cook. We're gonna lighten the color with that, and then keep it simmering because we still have to add more ingredients. So next is the zucchini and corn at about five, 10 minutes later. That's gonna give a little gentle sweetness to the soup. The next ingredient you're gonna to wanna to hit it with is your tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce. And this is the best part. You don't have to add salt to this at all. That's gonna take care of it. And keep simmering this as you gradually add more. Now we're gonna hit it with a gluten-free black vinegar. It's gonna give you that nice sour, tangy mouthfeel to the soup. Mix that in. You will see the stock start to take some color. Now with a fine mesh strainer, sit it and anchor it in the soup. Toss your carrots in so the stock can hit it and give it a nice little steam bath. Do it for a couple of minutes. And then you're gonna to wanna to do your glass noodles the same way. But don't walk away. These suckers are going to cook fast on you. And then as soon as they're done, pull them out, drain them well, and add them to your individual bowls. So you may want to do one bowl with glass noodles and the other one with spaghetti squash, or do both. Whatever, whatever works for you, really. And as always, thank you for stopping over. I hope you'll give the recipe a try. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Take care, guys.